guys welcome back to the phoebe way if you're a returning subscriber i say thank thank you for following me and supporting me if you are new to this channel my name is phoebe and the phoebe way is about life in germany my experiences and also more importantly sharing legal updates you know talking about life in germany for foreigners and making life in germany more interesting and easier for us okay so today i am going to talk about my culture shocks or just shocks that i experienced when i got to luxembourg or luxembourg how do you guys say it i would say luxembourg because it's the german way to say it in luxembourg i think that should sound french i don't know if it's german that sounds french to me anyways so in Probably you've already watched that, but if you have not watched the Luxembourg vlog, I was surprised with the trip to Luxembourg and it was amazing. Hey, Luxembourg is such a beautiful country, city. I was more in Luxembourg city and fun fact about Luxembourg is, you know, the Schengen um, Treaty or the Schengen, uh, yeah, it's a treaty, upcoming, um, was, was done in Luxembourg. So we drove by a place called schengen i'm like schengen schengen visa so that's what that's where it happened you know luxembourg and i understand why they did it in schengen because it's the place is just beautiful you have good food they had good wine they were in a good mood and they decided all of that so all the doubling procedures and everything schengen all right so now that i've given you a little bit of fun facts and if you watch the vlog i also talk about um I give you facts, like general facts about the Luxembourg. I've always wanted to go there and I expect the place to be beautiful, which it was, but I did not expect it to be this good. It has a lot of culture. It has lots of things to see. If you like hiking, it's there. You just have a modern city and within five minutes you're out in nature. Hey, so beautiful. But one thing that shocked me in Luxembourg, free public transport. Deutschland, are you seeing your mates? Germany, are you seeing your mates? You don't even have to go far. Mm? They're giving free transportation, public transportation. And have you seen their trams? I went on the bus, I went on the tram, and I loved it. I loved it. Well, I wasn't very impressed by their main train station, but it's fine. I didn't have anything to do. I just want to see it. But free public transportation ah mm -mm. I, I made a list i made a list let me go back to my list so i i, I can remember everything because i was in the car i was like i need to write everything down i need i need to i need to talk about this i need to talk about this number two cleanliness cleanliness is next to godliness and luxembourg took that personal <laughs> like there is hardly a street that is dirty even if you see something lying there it's a leaf a withered leaf mm? Paris Paris tu écoutes tu écoutes ask Parisians are you listening are you are you hearing have you seen your mates beautifully clean city clean like their trams are clean even Stuttgart, are you hearing? Are you seeing? Ah, number two. Hey, no, we've already done two. Number three, I said cleanliness and next to godliness. So for a city that is about the size of Sigmaringen, to me, because we did everything within a day or two. Tell me why. Mm. Tell me why they have over four churches within a radius of one kilometer or two. Um, the Our Lady Church. I'm going to put the original name there because I remember it's the Luxembourgian or Luxembourgian or Luxembourgeois Church, like of Our Dear Lady, blah blah blah. St. Michael's was there, right at the right below the fish market. There was one down the road. You could see down the valley. You go up the hill. There's another church. I think. But you know, I know the Christians would say that's why God has blessed them. Let's, so let's just leave it at that. Mm. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> so if you watch the vlog you remember that 
I lost my scarf. It was a new scarf by a Ghanaian designer that I loved so much. And as a Bolterian girl, I had to support my Bolterian sister, McAfee. And my McAfee shawl or the scarf fell. I didn't notice. So two hours later, I noticed, hey, I'm missing my scarf. We go back, look for everything. Nobody found it. We went to the tourist office. They said we should go to the police station. And this was Easter Monday. The man at the tourist office said, yeah, check the police office. It's just across the road where the arc is. You see police and it might be closed. I'm like, police, they close. Broad deal. We had just had breakfast. So I'm saying it's between 10 and 12 noon, you know. We went there, rang the bell. And obviously, if you've been to a police office in Germany, they usually have a bell that you should ring as well. So that was nothing strange. I could go around this bell and then somebody answered. I'm like, hi, I just wanted to know if somebody had dropped a scarf. This man said, we are not open today. Ah, in my mind, please they do the work we're going to do for it. You know, you never sleep nor slumber. So why are you telling me that you're closed? On an, it's like, it's not even like it's night after 8 p.m. You get it? Like, I'm um, actually, I walked there and he said they're closed. He'd not see my face. He'd not take my particulars. And this is how I had to give up on my scarf coming back. Culture shock in Luxembourg on holidays, the police closed. And it's not even like it was some village. Oh. This is the heart of Luxembourg, where the Marktplatz is. In Germany, we call the Marktplatz, like the market square, where the Asian part of the town is the old town. And um, this was even the, the Ville Haute, like the, the Oberstadt, the high part of the city. That was another thing. It's like my list is, is long, but we'll continue. The, the language is strange. It sounds like German. At the same time, it sounds like French. So you, you catch tidbits of it and you kind of are able to get the, the context, but you don't understand everything. So yeah, it's a strange language and it's, it's their own language actually. So but the thing is you get far with english excuse me get far with english and even farther with french that's another thing now we are number five good customer service so if you've been to france and you order food you can always say le plat this is a, a, a tip given to my to me by my boss because he's like a francophile person hey see i said a rattling english francophile <laughs> so silly okay so he is a frankfurt person i told him the first time i was going to paris i told him oh you're going to paris for the holidays and he was like okay whenever you order just ask for lopla there's no need for you to order i don't want to say the name of the brand of the water but it tastes the same so i i really did chew and pour for that lopla i got home to my partner say lopla lopla is the water we're getting for free so since everybody is speaking French somehow in this Luxembourg, we said, okay, we also want to apply again. They were like, and he said, we don't do this in Luxembourg. I'm like, okay, now. Nah. So there's no Lupla in Luxembourg. In Germany, sometimes they will, but it's not really um, a thing. A lot of people don't know, but sometimes you can ask for tap water. It's free. Okay. So the plat is not available in France, and I said France in Luxembourg. And according to what the waitress said, she actually told us, so we don't try it again. We don't do that in Luxembourg. So no the plat for us. Number whatever six seven. <laughs> what did I say? Yeah, and then great service. The second restaurant we went to, um, I asked for um, well done chopped steak right so that's like minced meat steak like minced meat patty and it came with fries i believe and salad and i asked for well done they brought this thing to me and it was burnt charcoal so i was like and you know when it's burnt so much that it tastes burnt so i had to like send it back the chef himself came out to apologize and then before the chef would come like when i sent it to anybody asked what i want i just said i want uh, medium I want medium because I normally don't like to see the fluid. It's not, we all know it's not blood. Before my brother would come and tell me again, I have told you it is not blood. So you know the fluid that is not blood. 
I don't like to see it on my plate like that. So when I want it well done, in Germany I get well done and it's just cooked. It's okay for me. But I believe that they're not used to well done that much. So just make sure that you don't um you don't ask for well done because I think what they did was they just because I wanted it to be well done, they just left it on the grill and forgot about it. They just forgot about my food. And then they were like, by this time it should be well done and they brought it back out. So I think that's what happened. But um yeah, well done. I saw the the overdo um in fact the well the done was overdone. In fact, so great service, they immediately I didn't even finish my sentence. They immediately changed it for me. And it was fast. The chef himself came out and apologized and I was like, fair enough, that's fine. And the sweetest part of my culture shock, I had heard about it, but I experienced it, is cheap, cheap, cheap fuel. Hey, we got um, petrol for 1 euro 63 cents per liter. We got back to Germany and E10, well, they had E10. They didn't have the E95. They had the E10. I don't know if you know the difference, but in Germany we have E10 and then we have E95 and then we have like the premium. So we usually, we, we usually get the E95. So I, we got back to Germany and E95 was 180 something. And the E10 in Germany was 170 something. So they had 163. And this morning, because the tank is still full, I checked and E95 was 190 something at the S people. And I believe um, E10 was a bit cheaper, but it was still more expensive than Luxembourg. So we filled the tank before we left. And guys, I am so impressed by this country, by the by their capital, and I definitely definitely would want to go back but i want to live there everything is expensive listen reta sport comes from violin schoenbuch he right somewhere here in St like on the outskirts of stuttgart okay direction Böblingen. you know if you live in stuttgart you know that area or if you know you don't you know Böblingen. that is Böblingen there you know you know something because of mercedes so somewhere around there violin schoenbuch has reta sport reta sport I think it's around one euro twenty on a regular day, and sometimes sometimes it's even on offer for sixty five cents, ninety five cents. Luxembourg had them for a whole one euro ninety five. I will never forget the price because it was five cents short of two euros. Yes, the beer for a sixer you pay almost eight euros without fund, without deposit for like like for the bottles. That's another thing, and I tried the alcohol free beer. It tasted like sorrow. Germany can do beer better than Luxembourg. For me, alcohol-free beer in Germany is yummy, yummy. Okay, for us that don't, do not like life, for us that do not like alcohol, it's yummy. But they know how to do meat. Like if you like the medium thing, as I said, but their sausages, smoky flavored spice. Their food is similar to German food, so. If you like German food, you'll feel at home there. That's it, guys. I'm still in the Luxembourg feel. I still feel like a Luxembourg, Luxembourgische Prinzessin. I can't say that in English, so. And a Luxembourgische Prinzessin, so feel it, Mich. Ich bin immer noch in diesem Modus. And thank you for watching. What I want to say there, if I can shop my food in Luxembourg and I can shop my gas in... No, if I can shop my food in Germany, my gas in Luxembourg... Apartment accommodation, Luxembourg should probably be more expensive. I don't know, but they are supposed to be happier than Germans are. Like German, you know, people, people who live in Germany, inhabitants, this, this, they're supposed to be happier than us. So for happiness, I'll go there. And their nightlife is also cool because we went to this bar. They played good music. I knew most of the songs. I vibed. Yeah, it's a plus for me. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in my next video. If you see the same setup in the next video, just so that I am ready to film. All right. <laughs>
Adele. <laughs>